In this video we are going to talk about Python decorators. Uh, what they are and how they can be used and uh, we are going to see a simple way to implement them. We will not uh, cover the topic to the full extent. In subsequent videos we are going to talk about more advanced using use, uh, use patterns of it. For now, to just to see the need and the basic implementation of it, let's say that we start with a very simple function, let's call it divide, uh, which takes two arguments, x and y, and returns x divided by y. There's nothing uh, complicated is just a simple function to demonstrate the need of uh, decorators. Now let's say we have a client which prints the output, the return value of divide. And uh, let's say that he's passing to us 8 and 2 dividing eight, uh, with two, uh, by 2 obviously it, it, it prints 4 but the question is what's going to happen if the user passes 8 and 0 in this case as it is expected uh, our program is going to be terminated by an exception which now it needs to be caught somehow one way to handle the exception is to create a try and accept the block within the divide function which now is going to look like this and uh, let's say that we're going to print the exception and we're going to return not available NA to the client in this case we can see that now the program is not broken it prints an error message and an NA which is better than before but still imagine now if you have the same uh, try accept code being repeated in hundreds of functions in your code obviously uh, if you are going to need to make some changes to this logic uh, then you have to touch the same uh, uh, the same block in hundreds of functions. By this I mean, let's say that instead of print x, you wanted to do something like this. Uh, you just modify something in your block then if you have the same block being repeated over and over again then you would need to go and change this in many many different places plus you see that now your divide function it becomes a little bit polluted it is much heavier than before that it was just a single line now we have more lines of code making it a little bit more difficult to understand and, and uh, hurting the elegance of the code. One way for this to be solved is by using uh, a decorator. A decorator is, is another function, and let's call it um, handle exceptions, which is going to take a function as a parameter and is going to create an inner a nested function let's call it inner which takes uh, generic arguments and is doing something similar to what we do here But now the return value is going to be func passing the arguments and uh, we all 
also need to return inner to our corner. So what we did here, we wrote a function which receives another function as an argument. It defines a nested function which is called inner which takes any kind of parameters. Now, inner is the one which actually creates the try except block and it tries to return the value of func as it's been called by any arguments that the user is trying to, to pass. It also catching a generic exception x is printing an error message and in this case is returning an a. And this inner function is being returned to our user. This is the whole trick about decorators. So following, uh, using this uh, decorator function, we can do this. We can say divide equals handle exceptions divide. What we do here, remember, functions are first class citizens in Python, so we are taking advantage of it and we say, you know what, this is the original divide, but now I want to reassign it to the function that it is being returned from handle exceptions if we pass the original divide to it. So in other words, after uh, this statement here in, in line 19 is, is being executed, divide now is pointing to inner, to this inner here, which is going to be executed whenever divide is executed. Now, we, need, we can get rid of the exception handling code in our divide. We can leave it as a one-liner, as it was before, and we can run our code. Boom. Now our code again is behaving as it was behaving before, with the try cuts inside divide, but the function looks very simple and neat, plus the, f the, the error handling mechanism is completely uh, decoupled from it. It can make any change we need in handle exceptions without divide knowing about it, and this is going to be applicable across the board. Now, at this point, somebody can say the, make the point, the point that this uh, uh, statement in, in, in line 15, where we say divide, call handle exceptions, parenthesis, divide, close parenthesis, um, it is uh, polluting a little bit the namespace. Maybe it can be done a little bit better. Now imagine if you follow this pattern in many places in your code, you're going to end up having hundreds of this type of lines being repeated. Uh, Python provides us a shortcut for this, a syntactic sugar has been called, which syntactic sugar uh, starts with the abersent, which is printed right before the definition of divide. So we start with an abersent, we specify the decorator function, which in our case is handle exceptions, and now this syntax, in, which covers line 12 and 13, is exactly equivalent to number uh, 16. There is nothing different of it. Now, I can get rid of this line, and I can try to run my code again, and as we can see, 
is working properly. So our decorator now is being called by the syntactic sugar and the code ne looks uh, neat and, and elegant. Uh, of course, we can go a little bit further. Somebody can make the case, uh, what if I do not really want handle exceptions to print something in the screen if there is an exception? In other words, let's say that I don't want this an exception was thrown on integer division or mod by zero. We just want the NA to be printed in this case. But in some other cases, uh, because I want this uh, this uh, decorator to be generic, I might need uh, the error message to be printed, to be logged, whatever. Uh, the answer to this problem, obviously, would have been to have a, a, a bullet which, let's call it, print message. So, if this print message was set, we we'll go ahead and we print, otherwise we we'll just return the value. Of course, you realize now that the problem is becomes how to pass and control this print message to the decorator. Very simple. The answer to this is to add another layer of a of a function in top of our decorator. Let's let's call it let's call it this let's change the name of handle exceptions to uh, inner handle exceptions and let's also keep the name of our top layer uh, function handle exceptions. We nest this a little bit. Obviously, we need to pass the print message here. And uh, finally, we also need to return hand, uh, the inner handle exceptions. As you can see, I took the original function, the original decorator, I nested within a higher level function which has the parameters that I need, print message in this case, and I also remembered to return the new inner handle exceptions to the client. So in this case, <coughs> the syntactic sugar that I'm using it's going to change a little bit. It's going to take one parameter, true or false. Let, let's start with true. So you see that now we see no difference. It works exactly as it was before. But if we pass false here, now you see that we no longer get a uh, uh, the exception message. It, it went that way. So this is the way to uh, write a decorator with parameters, which is a very powerful approach. And in the subsequent, in the videos that are going to be coming in the near future, we're going to see more applications of. Uh, of decorators. You can also read more about decorators in my uh, blog, which is called codingismycraft.com, and which is like this. Codingismycraft.com. Please feel free to leave any 
any comment, any message, and maybe we can have a, an interesting discussion about uh, the correctness. Thank you for watching. See you soon.